Good morning, guys. Welcome to my August mid-month budget report card. I cannot believe it is halfway through the month. It is flying by and only 50 something days until my wedding, which is just crazy. I cannot believe we are this close to the wedding. It is coming quick. I'm looking at how many days right now. Four, oh, 49 days. We are in the 40s. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right, so we're gonna dig right in. As always, my income um, for my job is blocked out. Side hustle. I have been slacking. I haven't, I've been so busy with wedding planning and everything that I haven't had any side hustle. I will have some later on in the month from YouTube and whatnot, but right now, no side hustle. Supplemental, on the other hand, yep, I've been busy shopping. Um, I, can't, I go back and forth between supplemental and it's sinking fund transfer on what to call this for you guys. Um, I think sinking fund transfer is gonna be a better term because um, it's what I'm pulling out of my sinking funds as I make purchases. So for that, it was $1,443.28. So we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, Capital One 360, they are back doing their referral plan. Um, with their, um, when you use the link that I provide and open up a Capital One 360, you get $25 for opening the account and I get 20. So three awesome people have used that, which I'm so excited about. I love Capital One 360 and recommend it to everyone. So if you don't have a savings or checking account or want to open a new sinking one, sinking fund one, Capital One 360 is awesome and there is a link in all of my videos for them. All right, Tithe is blocked out as always. Rent, um, it went up a little bit to $12.80. Um, that's how much I had to pay for um, the new apartment. And then next month, it's gonna go up to $15.80. Um, electric was $32.15, which is awesome. Renter's insurance. Okay, so when I changed my address for my renter's insurance, um, I asked if they had any discounts if you pay a full year at a time. And they said, yes, you save, um, I think it was $13 for the year, or $30 for the year, something like that. And so I was like, let's do it. So um, I paid for the whole year for renter's insurance. So you won't see this line going forward, but you will see it as a sinking fund. So it's gonna be down here, renter's insurance, $10 a month. Um, so that next year I can just pay it in full. Um, iPhone, internet, and UFIT haven't, um, the bill hasn't come for those yet. Weight Watchers, 831 as always. Groceries was 4832. So a couple um, meals so far, Aldi 2075, 20, Walmart 828, and Aldi 1929. Um, let's see here, eating out. I haven't eaten now at all. I take the back, I ate it once, um, but I did not pay. So that was awesome. Miscellaneous, 16.62, let's see. Oh, I went to CVS. So I have been watching Prudent Joy's CVS hauls and her couponing, and what she gets from that, and it's just incredible. So it inspired me to join the extra care box. And so I signed up for CVS and um, I had to get a bunch of stuff anyway, so it worked out well. So I spent 16.62 and ended up getting toothpaste for 24 cents, which was crazy. I've never gotten toothpaste that cheap before. Gas was 22.03, I think just one time. I'm about half a tank right now, so that's good. All right, so now come the sinking fund transfers. So moving pizza, so this was when I moved that I got pizza for everyone. That was forty eight thirty eight, which is awesome. That was my only real like moving day expense. I didn't have to rent a truck or anything like that. My friends have Jeeps and so we loaded up the Jeeps and Jamie's parents have a truck and a, like a Silverado, <clears throat> excuse me, a Silverado in a work van. Um, so that was awesome. Walmart, I had to buy a um, like shelf liners so that was $5.98. Ross, I bought, what did I buy at Ross? Oh, I had to buy some um, like home, um, like shower curtain, um, shower caddy, different things like that. 
So I bought that. So that's going to come out of anything um, like the shelf, the, the Ross, anything for the home right now is going to come out of the moving fund um, so that I have, you know, about a thousand dollars left of that. So I'm going to use that up first before we dig into like personal money or whatnot. Um, Dollar Tree video. This didn't come out of a sinking fund. I had to do a video which will come out soon and you will see and I spent ten dollars and six cents at the Dollar Tree for it. Aldi home. So Aldi I bought a new mop, a it was in one of my Aldi hauls, a mop, a goodness what else did I buy? Oh a shoe rack which you never think about Aldi and a laundry basket. Goodwill clothes. I bought um, two pairs of pants at Goodwill because none of my pants fit me for $9. Wedding band. I bought my wedding band and that was $1,200. It was way more than I thought it was going to be, but it matches the um, engagement ring. And so it is gorgeous and I'm very happy with it. Um, Sears bathing suits. I went to Sears and got some bathing suits. I think that was six bathing suits for $28, which is an awesome deal. I'm so happy with them. Um, they were a couple different prices, but they were around $5.60 each, which was awesome. And then I think a couple were a little bit more expensive. Um, David's bridal shoes. So I had to get shoes. I bought shoes for the um, wedding, but I know that I'm not gonna be able to wear them all day long because they're, they're quite constricting. So I bought some like dressy sandals as well. And they're ones that I'm going to wear for the, the bridal shower as well. And I can wear them for Easter. They're just white, um, nice dressy sandals. So $32.05. And then Sears dresses. I bought two dresses for the cruise. Um, so they were, um, one was a maxi dress. And I actually think I'm going to wear that on the wedding, the bridal shower day as well. And then a like dress cover up um, for the pool. So that is all of the... Um, these are all sinking fund transfers with the exception of the Dollar Tree video. All right, so then as always, my debt is at zero um, because I have paid it all off. As you guys know, emergency fund is sitting at $1,000 until after the wedding. Um, Christmas and all of this stuff is not getting funded until um, the end of the month. And as I use expenses from here, I automatically remove the money from here. So I will subtract it um, just to keep it, you know, so I keep it up to date. So say I spent $5 at Christmas, I would go down to 150. Um, so that is for my sinking funds. So, so far, since this is a zero based budget, I have $1,476, um, $1,476 left for the month. So I do have a couple more bills here that have to get paid and you know some money left in groceries and everything like that. And then anything else is gonna get um, straight to the wedding fund. You know, we are still funding the wedding. Um, we are at, I have saved so far $14,000. Um, the, the grand total is $14,560.31. Um, Jamie's parents, I think they're at about $5,000 that they're saving. And then Jamie and I will be contributing the rest. Um, he is on a gig right now out of state for five weeks. So um, he's on a long-term gig. Um, so he's gonna be getting quite a nice paycheck from that, which is really exciting. And that's gonna fund you know, the rest of the, the wedding, which is awesome. And we will be able to hit our five, or I'm sorry, $30,000 goal no problem at all. I don't see any any reason why we can't hit it. Um, we have to hit it because we're not going into debt. Um, so that is it. So as you guys see here, this is you know where I keep my groceries and eating out and miscellaneous. And these um, amounts here they flood up top. Um, so yeah. So that is August mid month budget report card. If you do want to create your own Excel budget, I do have a whole um, tutorial which goes step by step on how to create it. It's so easy and I've gotten so much great feedback from you guys on it and so many people have made their own with it. Um, so it will be linked down below in the description. It's a four part video series which is just so much fun. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions on creating your own budget or on how I do my budget or any of these line items, let me know. I'd love to answer those questions for you. I'm pretty much an open book. Um, I do get asked 
quite frequently, you know, this is a zero based budget. And why do you block out the top? You know, why do you block out your income when you can just simply do the math and figure it out? The reason for that is I'm a very open person and I honestly don't care if you know how much I make, but that is the agreement that I've made with my work. You know, they don't want, I do have some coworkers that watch and they don't want it, you know, people to know how much I make. So that's just the kind of workaround that we did that it wasn't too, too obvious of how much I make, but just that it's blocked out um, just to kind of cover our butt. So yeah. So that is my August mid-month budget report card. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you subscribe if you haven't already. All right, I will talk to you later.